This is the story of a new way to build that uses 80 to 90 percent less heating and cooling energy. It's called Passive House because the buildings are so well built they don't require an active heating system, such as a forced air furnace. This house is going to cost $100 a year to heat and cool. I think that's a pretty powerful statement. This is achieved by making the walls, ceilings, and floors much thicker than usual, so they can hold more insulation. So we're using eye joists that are 16 inches deep. So in the 16 inches, we can put in three layers of this high-density fiberglass. Holes where wires, plumbing, and vent pipes enter the building are sealed, and the house is made as airtight as possible. High-performance windows and doors are installed. This is a Passive House certified window. There are two layers of cork within the frame assembly. Passive House building techniques greatly minimize heat loss, shown dramatically in this thermal image of two buildings. The orange, yellow, and red of the conventional building on the left indicate loss of heat through the walls and windows. It's a development of a kind of liberation uh, because now you can build uh, your energy future. You do not depend on the oil, you do not depend on the nuclear energy. You just depend on your own knowledge and your own work and we have seen that that is possible. But I think it's a beautiful, profound thing to have a building that's really serving you with such a tiny, tiny amount of energy. And I hope that people can really get a grip on how good that would be for them. And obviously how good it would be for the other issues that we're encountering in this world. War, peak oil, pollution, global warming. It, in one fell swoop, helps with all of those problems. I really believe that saved energy is the invisible oil that is in existence everywhere and everybody can access it. Nobody has to buy it from anybody, just smart building techniques will access that wealth, the wealth of conserved energy, and anybody can get it.